Madam Chair. Supervisor Pat. I reviewed the contract. I believe that it's a transparent and reasonable scope of services and agreement. I'd like to move the item. Is there a second? Second. Motion and a second to move item nine. Objections? Madam Chair. Supervisor Miller. Um, I'd just like to speak to this issue. I, I heard with great interest some of the uh, citizens in Green Valley speaking about this, and I, I did some research, and Green Valley Council does represent 73 homeowner associations. And I also understand that Mr. Carroll has an office down there representing the people of Green Valley. Green Valley. Um, in District 1, uh, we have a very large senior population as well. And when those individuals have needs or need direction or need assistance, they call my office because that's what my staff is there for. Um, and we do the intake and we work with the various departments to bring resolutions to any issues they have. And I, I look at this and this is basically what my staff does, uh, representing the constituents. We have a constituent liaison. And I have a, uh, Whenever I have issues, like for example, I might have a group coming to my office to meet with me regarding transportation issues. I set up meetings, I coordinate with the departments, and I work with both constituents and county departments to bring resolution. And um, we have a group, and you heard them here again today, 100 to 150 people who are very upset about the issue of encampments and homeless in their neighborhoods that we're still working to resolve. I set up a task force for the Sheriff's Department to coordinate the various departments to understand what needs to be done, what protocol needs to be followed to bring resolution. Uh, we set up meetings with constituents. And, and it begs the question, why do we have a supervisor representing this area? And constituent services is obviously a huge part of our jobs, and, and it appears that you're outsourcing this to this group. Um, I believe your office should be providing a number and working with the budget you have, which is on $400,000. And it really bothers me that $75,000 is being given to this group, especially here in Whitaker this morning. Pima County has plenty of staff available to handle these calls. Uh, a simple phone list of the departments and the types of issues would work. And a, again, a call to the supervisor's office. And based on the number of hours, more than 3,800 hours estimated to be put into this effort, it appears to be approximately two full-time individuals working on these issues for Green Valley residents. I can't ask the taxpayers in my district, nor do I think the taxpayers in Green Valley or any other district would be really happy if I asked for $75,000 for a nonprofit to do my job. I'm guessing that uh, you know, uh, this is really troublesome. I believe it is clearly a gift, and I can't support it, and every taxpayer should be outraged by this because this is our job as supervisors. With any, that, I will object to this amount of money being given to a Any Any further comments? Right. Supervisor Elias and then Supervisor Carroll. It is, it is a difficult issue to deal with, but uh, Green Valley is uh, unincorporated, and there's a significant population down there that's uh, a good distance away uh, from the other communities in um, Pima County, frankly, that have jurisdictions that represent them. So I don't think your analogy is quite correct, um, but I certainly understand uh, the sentiment that you might have about it. But uh, I, I think that Green Valley Community Coordinating Council has uh, provided service to people down there in Green Valley for a long time. I think it'd be a shame to uh, summarily take that away from them, too. Supervisor Carroll. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, I just uh, would like to submit, um, it's not just this office, this board, this Pima County administration that has uh, worked on this contract for services. But um, it's also been from the Green Valley News and from the editor about how the Green Valley Council is the best deal going. And I hope that counters some of the argument that you may have heard from a small minority in Green Valley. Because it does say Green Valley represents 80% of the residents at their council. 
So I, again, think that the money that we're expending is a good value. It's something that I would hold up as a, a, a collaborative that would go f into the future with good positive results. And I'm looking forward to having uh, the vote, so I call. Okay, the question's been called. Um, roll call. Supervisor Carroll? Aye. Supervisor Diaz? Aye. Supervisor Miller? No. Supervisor Valadez? Aye. Chair Brown? Aye. Motion carries.